Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. All right. Today I just want us to talk about wooden doors, door frames and wood for roofing. Okay? We want to distinguish between these three categories so that it will help us once we are putting up our build. All right. This wooden market is located in Kwashiman. From La Paz, you head towards Kwashiman. If you are from Kasua and you are coming, you head towards Malam Junction. From Malam Junction, you head towards La Paz direction, you will come straight to Kwashiman. So just at Kwashiman, you alight and you ask of Kwashiman Timber Market. Okay? And this is where you will find Isaac Opoku. Okay? There are a lot of wood with the lowest prices because you know you don't have to travel too far to buy your wood all right here we have wood for your roofing we have wood for your door frames okay we have wood for all type of works wawa board different types of wawa board we have sawmill okay and all of that if you want a pre-mode window frames all these are available some people are putting up maybe a small room on their land because they would want to save some money in the future and then come back to you know do the mega project and therefore they are putting up a mini you know security post or something that can store their materials all of that everything that you need is located right here okay you don't have to go that far kindly contact isaac opoku okay isaac opoku is the one that did my doors for me all right so they design doors that is their main job they design doors aside the doors they have door frames aside door frames door handles okay aside that they sell their wood for your pillars and whatsoever that you need so it's a one-stop shop where everything is available the door designs you see are designs or patterns that have been given to him by other clients. You understand? You might see any of the designs and say, okay, I like this design. So he will do it for you. Perhaps you might have your own design. You can give the design to Isaac. And then they will go and then design it for you. Everything that you need, okay? Just give it to him. The entire doors of your house, everything should be given to him. You don't need a different carpenter to come and do anything. No. He has everybody as a team. You understand? So from your door, your door frame. So once you're done with your blog work, the next thing you're going to do is your door frames. And the best wood they normally use for the door frame is Dahoma. Dahoma. Dahoma is a very strong wood and highly treated and therefore it is very strong and you know it's very difficult to find bugs or termites you know eating up this wood and this wood is very strong it is about it is uh, i think eight feet um, eight feet in size okay or eight inches if i put it that way yes i think it's yes eight eight inches which is quite reasonable because uh, most of our blog work um, are six inches. If you're using six inches block, you understand. So once you're using six inches block and your door frame is about eight inches, it means that you have two inches on the left and two inches on the right. And then your plastering is going to you know, cover the one inches on the left and the right and then it will flash with the door frame. So door frames, when you're going out there, and you're looking for a door frame it should be eight inches door frame okay door frame should be eight inches you right and the type of wood you use for your door frame should be dahoma please remember that dahoma the doors comes in various types of wood we have odum okay we have mazonia all right we have shedria okay we have mafia okay and we have um dahoma as well we have redwood okay all these woods are available 
for you to choose from. You can ask Isaac to list the type of woods that are available and stronger for you. What you see here is, you know, Mazonia. You understand? Mazonia is very strong. We have Aphromosia. Aphromosia is super strong. It's very, very strong. You understand? We have a wood called Walnut. Walnut. Walnut wood also are very strong but very scarcey. Are you with me? So, Walnut, Shedria, Dahoma, Mazonia, Aphromosia. You understand? All these woods are available, but the best option I will tell you, you go for Mazonia or Aphromosia. If they can do Odum for you, that's okay. You understand? Odum is one color, but Mazonia comes with a mix of different colors. The wood comes with a different colors, but it doesn't matter because most often than not, some people would like to spray the wood like the gentleman is doing. You will spray it to a certain color of your choice. Some people will have to just maintain the natural color of the wood. So they just give it a gloss painting after maintaining the wood. So proud to you getting the wood. Once the wood arrives from the wood market, Isaac is going to treat the wood. They will take their time. They will sand it down. Make sure all the patterns are showing very nice and sharp. Okay, they will sandpaper everywhere, make it smooth, and then give it a treatment. Where they find some holes or whatsoever, they are going to apply filler, you know, and fill those holes and make it look uniform, and then sand it down with a machine. Uh, upon completion, they are, going, they are going to apply those um, treatment chemical, you know, and keep it there for two, three days for it to dry. It has to absorb into the wood. The wood has to absorb it. You understand? And that is typically what they do. They have to treat the wood so that it doesn't expand. During Hamatan, you see some of the wood expanding. Are you with me? Because it's not properly dried and it's not properly treated. So they have to do that to ensuring that the wood does not expand during Hamatan. Because you all know that Hamatan always expands things. It destroys a lot of things. Yeah, so in most cases, you see some doors that when you close, they don't close anymore. They have expanded. And they can only come back to their normal shape after the Hamatan, you know, has gone by. Are you with me? Some don't, do not even return to the original state anymore. It is because it is not dried properly. Yes. What you see right now, we call them alcatrates. Alcatrates are placed in the belly of the frame. So once you fix your door frame and they're coming to fix your door, you're going to apply this wood as well. So eventually, at the end of the day, you don't see your door frame anymore. You only see this wood covering the entire surface of the frame. These are called alcatrates okay they have patterns along the edges of the frame you understand so this is a design for one of my subscribers and isaac put in his best i believe the design might have been coming from the subscriber himself and i love the design i was intrigued i was like hey i'm going to remove all my doors and redo my doors again probably i'll shift it to the first floor and take my time and redo another massive design in this time i'm really impressed with this design it's so beautiful it's so unique you have to be creative you understand take your time be creative you can go to pinterest.com pinterest.com and get a whole lot of designs when it comes to doors okay i know back in the states on europe there are various door designs you can take a picture of those and send it to him and they will take their time look at the edges of the frame okay they have all been designed with alcatraz so you don't see the door frame anymore we call this door and then the height with fan light the door has a fan light at the top okay it means that when you're putting up your structure instead of the normal seven feet block you would have to go maybe 10 feet you understand so you can have this type of design you have the fan light at the top are you with me so 
Isaac Opoku did a fantastic job here. I love this. I believe he, he took this concept from myself <laughs> because I remember saying that I'm going to have a glass in my kitchen window, uh, kitchen door, such that if someone is in the kitchen, you can see the person right from the hall or whatsoever where the person is coming from. And I really love the design. Man, whoever you are, Oh man, you're a smart person. I really appreciate you utilizing Isaac Opoku. I hope he did everything very well for you. This excites me so much. Okay, it is my joy to help people out there to bring good things to you. You know, I don't want anybody to swindle you, to scam you. No, 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 no. My channel is credible, and whatever I do, remember my credibility, my reputation is on the line. And therefore, I make sure that before I publish anybody, you know, I am well groomed to the person. I know that, hey, you, I can rely on you before I publish their numbers. So thank you so much. And Isaac Opoku, once again, I want to say thank you for doing this for me. Okay. Yes, you didn't disappoint me. You've been honest. You've been faithful. And... Once again, thank you to whoever that contacted Isaac Opoku for this. We are so grateful. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Creativity. You should take your time in, you know, when you get to this stage of your build, you don't have to rush it. Take your time. Let them do. Isaac will fix the door and then after everything is done, they will come and spray it. So you can see they put a paper on the edges in order not to destroy the wall. Everything has been sprayed nicely. So beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. He did all by himself. If you, the door handles or the door locks, sometimes you might want to bring your own door locks. Okay. You can, you can import them or you can go to town and buy the ones that you prefer. You understand? But everything I believe was given to Isaac as contract. He might charge you probably around thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, depending on what you are looking for. You understand? And they will come and fix everything that pertains to the door. The door hinge, the door locks, okay, everything, the spraying, the fixing, and all of that, they will charge you and then they will come and do all the work for you. So you don't have a headache. You don't have to be calling someone to come and do this and call a carpenter to come and do that. No. Everything has been done. All right. So the type of wood, probably you contact Isaac Opoku. He will tell you the type of wood that he used for this. It could be Odum because it's very thick. It could be a beam plate, you know, wood that they use. It's very nice. I like the concept. Okay. It is called a beam door. Okay. A beam door. All right. So beautiful. So beautiful. All right, so contact Isaac Opoku, okay? He's a reliable person. I rely on him so much. And I believe he's doing other subsequent jobs for other subscribers. And pretty soon, we're going to be sharing that video with you. You understand? The location, again, is at Kwashiman Timber Market. It's not far, okay? From Odoko, you head towards Kwashiman. From Malam, you head towards Kwashiman, okay? From um, Race Course, you can head towards Kwashiman. From La Paz, you head towards Nyameche. From Nyameche, you're heading towards Kwashiman. And he will come and take the measurement wherever you are. Just call him. Make sure you give him transportation. He will come and take exact measurement. He will bring, bring the door frames. Once they're done with plastering and everything and you're ready with the door, by that time, the doors would have been ready because it takes time. Remember, it's not just one week job. No, so you have to, you know, go into contract with him, let him bring the door frames, and then you continue with your plastering and whatsoever. And then he will continue with the door because it has to go through a lot of processes. You understand? Don't be in a hurry. Family doors, nebremi, family doors, nebremi. No. The wood has to dry. Once they apply those chemicals, they are treating the wood for your own good. So give them ample time. You understand let them treat it very well make sure everything is nice they will load it and then transportation you pay for the transportation and they will bring everything to the site they will fix it they will set up a date they will come and do the spraying for you all right 
So if you love this video and you like Isaac Opoku, please contact him now. Subscribe if you haven't. Okay, it's free. It's a free word. Please subscribe to help the channel grow. All right, give it a thumbs up. The thumbs up helps the algorithm of YouTube to share the video for wider audience. Okay, all right. So, um, lovely people, this brings us to the end of the video. Contact Isaac Opoku for all your doors, window frames, wood, um, wawa board, bamboo, and whatsoever. You can reach me on Bright Antonio at Outlook.com. If you want me to supervise or undertake your project from foundation to finish, please do not hesitate to contact me. I'm ready to assist you. From me to you, it's Shalom. God bless you wherever you are. Bye-bye.